Urgent message for the church, repent now. We have to make sure that we do not run our Christian race in vain. It is very possible to be a Christian and still end up in hell. Paul in 1 Corinthians 9:25-27 says, Everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, he says those who run for the earthy crown in a race do all things the proper way so that they may not be disqualified. How much more should we be zealous in obeying our Lord than that we may obtain an eternal crown? If we do not obey, we will be disqualified from entering heaven. Paul also says in order not to be disqualified, I put my body under subjection. That is crucifying the flesh and all its lusts. The Lord Jesus Christ gave me a very urgent message for his church today. He said his church is in danger of the fires of hell because they are still holding on to some things in the world. The way he spoke to me made me very scared. He said to me in an urgent tone like someone warning of a great danger ahead. He said, Zipora, my children are watching secular TV. Even some of the people you tell the messages to on Facebook. They are watching secular TV. They watch secular TV thinking they will repent just before they die or they will stop later. Tell them that is the devil speaking directly to their minds and hearts. He is deceiving them so that they can die in their sins. How do they know when they will die for them to say they will repent later? Or how do they know by which means of death they will die for them to say they will repent just before they die? What if they die in a flash with no chance to even repent? Today is the day of salvation and not later. Tell them not to take me for granted. Let them love me with all their hearts and not be undecided. Someone who really loves me repents and amends their ways. Anyone who loves their lives wants to be loved by the world and to keep their reputation. They think they will be seen as foolish if they practice holiness. They know the truth but do not obey it. When they see death nearby, they say words of repentance to me. I will not hear their prayer because they have said that repentance, not because they are truly sorry but because they have seen death are scared of going to hell. Anyone who loves me obeys me. Daughter, tell them that any voice that tells them to do opposite from what is in my word is the devil. Tell them that any voice that tells them to repent later is the voice of the devil. Tell them that anyone who tells them to do things contrary to what I say is being used by the devil. He opens his mouth but the devil speaks directly from his mouth, opposing my word. Making people sin. Many of them are even demons in human form deceiving you. Hell is waiting. The devil is working very hard to get your souls. Even just one soul matters a great deal to him. Hell is horrible and that is where he wants to take you. Brethren, Jesus in Matthew 10:39 says, He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. What is secular TV or anything else for that matter which is keeping us from fully obeying the Lord? Jesus said, Ask my children, is secular TV worth much more than your soul? Is anything else you're clinging to worth much more than your soul? Hebrews says let us take Jesus the author and finisher of our faith as an example who, for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. He didn't look at the present moment but looked at the eternal reward. In the same way, let us despise the mocking of people of the world. Who mock us for being holy, let us not go back to our sins, watching secular TV and other things which are temporary. Let us love pleasing God more than pleasing men for no one can save two masters at one time. Let us count all things as dung for the sake of Christ, looking forward to our eternal reward. We are not the first to be tempted and neither will we be the last. Everyone in the world is going through the same things and with the help of the Holy Spirit, the victory is ours. So let us not backslide. 2 Peter 2 20-22 says, for if after having escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and are overcome, the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. 
for it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, than having known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb, a dog returns to his own vomit, a sow having washed to his wallowing in the mire. Nothing is worth more than your soul. The devil is just lying to you so that he can have your soul. If we go back to our old ways, the punishment is so bad that the Bible says, it would have been better if we had never known the truth than after knowing it, to disobey. We need to crucify the flesh and put our body under subjection. This world is full of temptations but we have to overcome. There is only one way of remaining totally holy and ready for the Lord or for the rapture and that is prayer. Any Christian who is not praying will be overcome by the world. Philippians 3.20 says, For our citizen is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. How does someone who is eager behave? Are they relaxed or lazy? Someone who is eagerly waiting for something is constantly on the watch that they may not miss it. In Matthew 6.41, Jesus also says to watch and pray lest we fall into temptation. Without serious prayer we will be overcome. These are the instructions the Bible gives about our Christian lives over and over again. It always talks about prayer. This is the lives the apostles lived. A life of prayer, communion with God and also fasting. Many words refer to prayer in the Bible. We are told to wait on the Lord, to call, to submit, to be still etc. With the revelation of the Holy Spirit, we know that all these words refer prayer. Let us look to our reward for no eye has seen, no ear heard and neither has mind imagined what the Lord has prepared for us. This earth and all its things are passing away. May serious prayer become a reality in our lives so that we can overcome. Shalom.